This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. This time I'm playing in singles. Um, I'm going to keep playing singles uh, until basically I get a video of, you know, proper length. Uh, if that's one game, great. If that's multiple games, then also great. Um, but what I'm playing is I'm playing with the new, uh, Metal Foes, uh, Pendulum. The, uh, the new Metal Foes Link Monster. Heavy Metal Foes, um, Doodad. Uh, Electrum. Uh, they didn't have a picture in. They added the card database file, but they didn't add a picture in, so I just put one of the OCG card images in. Um, and we just went from there. Now, this hand isn't that great, uh, unfortunately. Um, but it's workable. Uh, but these are both high scales. That's the problem. Um, this is a low scale. I can pendulum the Volflame and then normal summon this. Um, so that is what I will do. So I'll pendulum scale this, uh, the Volflame, uh, and then I'll pendulum the, Lu I'll put the, uh, Luster in the other scale, uh, popping the Volflame and then going from there. Uh, now Metal Foes is definitely not, like, the best deck to be using the new Link Monster in, but since it is the first, like, since it is actual themed Metal Foes support, uh, I figured it was only, uh, it was only appropriate to attempt to uh, to play with one metal foes first, but then after that we'll go into magicians and stuff like that. This hand would have been infinitely better if I had opened a rescue rabbit, unexpected die, gofu even, or um, or even something like uh, like can't even think of what I'm thinking of at this point. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to uh, pop this. I'm going to set metal foes counter. Uh, but Metal Foes did take a huge hit from Master Rule 4 because of the fact that your Pendulum Zones are now here. Uh, it's actually just a huge problem uh, that needs to be addressed in some way. I thought I clicked Normal Summon. But I'm going to Link Summon this monster, and then I'm going to set Strike and hide behind Ash. Uh, and that should be fine. So I can then draw a card as well. So this is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but the issue is, is that it still isn't amazing. But I'm going to use this thing's effect. I am playing one card in my main deck that makes this effect really good of putting a card into my extra deck, and that is a Morphage Sloth. Um, it's just a searchable card, essentially, and I can just pendulum it out. If my hand had been better, I could have pendulumed it out here. Uh, but So what I can do is I can destroy this and then add another pendulum from my extra deck to my hand and then draw a card. So I will do that. Just to go ahead and get this out of my scale, uh, in case there's something weird going on that I have to that I have to respect. Uh, but then this allows me to draw a card, uh, so that's that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool how that interaction goes. Um, so now I can pendulum scale these around, uh, and then pop cards. I could uh, set up another counter. Um, there's a few things I could set up a combination, which would actually be really good. In fact, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a combination because my deck has more. High scales in it, then low scales. I'm going to use the silver to pop the Volflame uh, and set combination, and then I'll set strike. Uh, so this this should be pretty pretty cool. And I hope that my opponent is playing something that's you know at least semi decent. Um, I mean my my opening hand hasn't been amazing, but it is still you know doing plays, which is still pretty good. Like I said, it would have been infinitely better if I had had Rescue Rabbit or something along those lines. But I do have a strike. I do have a counter, which essentially is a plus, uh, which is essentially like a plus one. Um, if he kills any of my cards, I can then counter to get a Metal Foes monster from my deck. Then it adds a scale back. Uh, and then I can also just flip counter, or I can flip combination next turn and pop it with Electrum. And that would add a monster from my extra deck to my hand, which would then also trigger my combination's graveyard effect to add a Metal Foes monster from my deck to my hand. So, this is all very good. Okay, my opponent is playing Magicians. Okay. I just have to hope he doesn't have, like, Wavering Eyes. That's going to be the thing that kills me. Uh, if he has Wavering Eyes, he's going to be able to Wavering Eyes for three. And that's going to be pretty bad. Uh, that's going to be pretty bad for me. But so, these two. This this looks like it might be a Wavering Eyes. Oh, Pendulum Call. Okay. I'm okay with this. Uh, discarding a Harmonizing Magician. Well, we will 100% Ash Blossom this. Um, that's just a free interaction. The only other thing that would Ash Blossom is Wavering Eyes, uh, which would have you know been a free thing to have. But now I just get to uh, now I just get to Solemn Strike his uh, Pendulum Summon um, of these two. 
Hmm, let's see, how big is this? This thing is that big, and he only has a harmonizing condition in his grave. Um, if I strike this, the Black Fang comes back. Uh, but I'm gonna put him on being smart enough to actually bring the Black Fang back. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so, okay, he is going to target the Black Fang and bring it back. Good. <laughs> if he wasn't good enough to do that, then damn. Uh, but he is going to be able to Iris and do this, which will give him a search for the trap. Uh, which would then, let's see, he kind of has to pop this if he wants to attack over my Link monster. Uh, but that's kind of alright, because he has that. So we could play that, uh, pop his purple poison, which would then pop this card. Uh, but then I have counter, so there's, there's still not really, I don't really see any good position for him uh, at this point and juncture. Uh, because I can still just flip counter. Um, he's going to pop my scale, and he's going to pop this, and he's going to attack over this. Um, but I still get to counter, and I still have a combination. And counter's going to make sure the combination goes off. So, yeah. All I really need to do is draw a Pendulum Monster next turn, or Rescue Rabbit, or Unexpected Die. Literally one of, like, 78 to 80% of my deck is a card that I have to draw next turn. Um, so, and then this could get, this, uh, this lets me draw, right? Um, oh, wait, no, it's because it's, uh, it's going to, oh, wait, no, it does activate. Hell yeah. All right. Fuck yeah. We'll do this now. Um, I'm going to summon the, uh, Bisma Gear. I'll summon it here. And then this lets me draw a card. Then if Bisma Gear dies this turn, um, then I'll be able to do some things. Uh, so why did I take 22? That seems excessive. What did this make it do? Oh, because the double iris, like, it made it do double damage. That's right. I was like, is this thing coded with the wrong attack value? Uh, but so now he has a, what, a black fang? Is that the card? Uh, tab is my thing. Um, confirmation, black fang magician. Okay, so he does have a black fang in his hand. Um, I've got this Bisma gear, which I can definitely utilize next turn. Um... My opponent has to out this card in some capacity, um, unless he wants me to be able to normal summon and make another copy of this Link monster, and so things should be pretty fine. But like I said, I was gonna, e I'm gonna either play singles or I'm gonna play multiple games. I don't want these videos to be too long. Um, I don't really care if it's against the same decks or not. I, I want a nice middle ground point of videos to be like you know, around, um, around the like, end of 15 minute mark. Uh, I don't want things getting way too long because the the match videos I did with sided games and stuff like that those were cool. Uh, you got to see some uh, some like insight in how those things work, how those like plays get structured, and how the siding works for certain decks. Uh, but like, I don't think scaling this Joker is what you wanted to do. But all right, cool man. Uh, I might be able to kill you this turn. This is actually just super real. Um, is that I might just be able to kill you this turn. So I will normal summon this. I didn't draw into a rabbit or anything like that. I should probably play... I could probably play, like, the emergency rescue rescue card. Um, and then, like, tech maybe one or two ferrets as well. Uh, but there's not really any good level threes to summon in this deck. Um, that would, like, be beneficial to have put back into your hand. Uh, so there's that as well to consider. But so I'll link into this. I will use its effect to, uh, to put a link... Uh, to put a uh, Pendulum Monster into my extra deck. Uh, and so what I'll put into my extra deck is I'll put... Luster. Um, this prevents my Luster from doing anything really cool. Which kind of irritates me. Um, but hey, what the fuck ever. So we'll put Luster in the extra deck. That just that just seems fine. Just I don't want to draw these cards. But I will activate Metal Foe's Combination... And, let's see, do I, what do I have in my graveyard? Let's see, Ash? Um, no, I don't want a chain. I'm just going to use this to add uh, Pendulum cards from my graveyard to my, or from my extra deck. My, my second graveyard. <laughs> to my hand. Um, so I'll use that to add, um, I'll just add Bisma Gear. Yeah, we'll add Bisma Gear. Um, then Combinations Effect can trigger. And that will allow me to search for a low scale. We'll do Gold Driver. 
And then I can use the counter in the grave to add a card back to my hand as well here. So I will. Um, so I'll add back... I'll add back one of my uh, Vol Flames. Uh, it doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, but I'm going to get a draw off of this. And then I'm going to be able to get a draw off Metal Foes Fusion. Um, and my Metal Foes Fusion I can use to make Mithrilium to bounce this card. Um, and that would be pretty good for me in the hole. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, Pendulum Scale this. Well, I can't make I can't make Mithrilium unless I want to shuffle back. Well, no, I can shuffle back that. It's a Metal Foes card. Fuck yes. All right. This is how this works. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to scale the Volflame. And then I'm going to use Volflame. Uh, I'm going to use Gold Driver to pop Volflame. Uh, to make sure my scales are intact. Because I can just put Bismagear down. Uh, I'm going to set Metal Foes Fusion. Uh, set this here. And so then this will trigger drawing a card. Uh, which is Psalm Strike, which is very good. Uh, I'll Pendulum Scale this. And now I can... Special summon. So I'll special summon. I can special summon the sloth. I can beat over this. Um, <laughs> uh, it protects itself though, so I don't think I want to. Um, so we'll go the Volflame and the Volflame. Fuck it. Um, yes. Excuse me. Oh, it's because it was asking me if I wanted to summon the Ash from my hand. Excuse me, what? How about we not? Um, how about we just don't? Um, but so I'll activate this. Uh, I'll fuse into Mithrilium with these cards. And that will establish my ability to bounce this. Uh, I'll use this to draw a card first. I really like Metal Foes. I'm, I'm really upset that they really just got the dick from Master Rule 4, but this Link Monster actually just kind of helps. Unexpected Die, that's a good follow-up card. I can respect that. Um, and so now I can activate this, and I'll put back the combination and the, uh, the Metal Foes uh, Link Monster. And so that will go there, and then I can activate this. I should have played these uh, around in a little bit of a different order. Um, so I could get, I could have gotten a search. I could should have put this in my scale with the Volflame, uh, popped the Volflame, and then scaled Gold Driver. I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to Metal Foes. It's been a minute. It has been a long, long minute. But so I've got this Ash that I can use to prevent a Wavering Eyes if he top decks that, um, which is very good because Ash can negate Wavering Eyes because it includes effect an effect to add a card from deck to hand, the secondary effect. Um, and then I've got this strike also as a fallback, so this is this is all well and good. Um, I'm going to use this Bismagear to pop this because I've done things incorrectly. Um, and I'm going to set combination again. That way I can do the same sort of play that I did previously, uh, where I can get a search and do all sorts of stuff. Um, so that seems pretty good. So in turn, um, I really, like I said, like I may have said before in this video, I really hate that Metal Foes got such the dick in terms of like your one your pendulum summon is restricted two your amount of spells and traps are also restricted um because of the uh because of how things are uh, structured around in terms of like your pendulum zones are now here and it's just uh it's just irritating on uh, on a pretty on a pretty deep level um but so this purple poison he keeps targeting my link monster um, and so, hmm, if he gets win, if he gets Wisdom Eye here, he can pop, but then Pendulum that one. Um, so I will strike the, the Purple Poison. I'm okay with striking this, uh, to protect this guy. I'm okay with that. Uh, because then, let's see, he gets Wisdom Eye, he can summon, w like, one monster out of his extra deck, um, to try and wall, but that's about it. Um... So I don't think that I'm any sort of uh, I don't think I'm any sort of disadvantageous state here, considering that if he wisdomize, he's going to go up to essentially four cards because he'll wisdomize for a card here. Or does he? He doesn't even have to wisdomize, honestly, um, because he has cards in his extra deck. But uh, that's the that's the weakness of pendulums on the top decking game is that like he he is really far behind me, 
and I have the ability to special summon into at least one more zone. This thing, he knows what this thing does uh, as far as interactions with Metal Foes Combination and all that sort of stuff. So, this is kind of a weird and wacky deck that I'm playing. Uh, it's not necessarily anything I would consider too high top tier, but like I said, the Heavy Metal Foes Electrum is specifically named Metal Foes Support, and it's made to work in Metal Foes. It just happens to be generic Pendulum Support, so I wanted to at least play it in Metal Foes once or twice before moving over to the real Pendulum decks, which is like Magician Pendulums and shit like that. But so this video is about 15 minutes long, so I'm go I'm perfectly fine with calling it here for a single if that's all right with you guys. So anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always. As always, like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links is always in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the content I've been making as of recently and want to support my other creating content, then Patreon is the best way to do so. As well, if, if you're uh, interested at all in my private Discord server, entry into that where you can chat with me and a bunch of other people on a daily basis about Yu-Gi-Oh! and other fandoms. Or if you're interested in monthly Yu-Gi-Oh! product giveaways and entry into those, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on Patreon. And any support you'd like to give the channel, you'd have my gratitude in advance for and my deepest thanks because it helps out a lot in terms of keeping this ship afloat as i've said many times in the past so just that things those things to consider essentially but anyway as i've already said thanks for watching thanks for your time let me know again what your thoughts are in the comments down below on this link monster i really like it personally i think it opens up a lot of good doors for what different pendulum decks could be doing in the future uh so there's there's all that to consider but anyway i'm going to cut this video off now like i said thanks for your time and as usual guys take care i'll see you in the next video but anyway, now that the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that's currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a lot more than you may know. You have my eternal gratitude, and you guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support.